Welcome to another edition of Fabric 5. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm the founder of Data on Wheels. Thank you for joining us today. I recommend you use your captions in order to understand me better throughout the presentation. Today we'll be talking about resetting your data for those situations where th things like accidental deletes and updates. So let's get started. I did not have a good name for this topic, so I called it data reset. I am referring to those situations where something bad happens to your data and you need to roll back or recover data in the lake house or the data warehouse. These issues are commonly caused by mistakes by developers and end users. Developers cause issues when they roll out a breaking change accidentally or remove data with a bad SQL statement. Sometimes it's caused by mistakes from the user community. Let's walk through some of the options available in Microsoft Fabric to help you recover from these scenarios. We will start by talking about the data warehouse. It has a robust set of solutions that will let you recover data if you're using this functionality in your environment. I will call out two options. One is a scalpel and one is a sledgehammer. Let's look at the sledgehammer first. Microsoft has introduced a concept called restore points which saves the state of your data on a regular basis about every eight hours or so. These are the system restore points that Microsoft uses to guarantee your data stability. You are also able to create your own restore points if you know you have an activity coming up that requires you to potentially roll back. I call this the sledgehammer because it restores the entire database. It is very similar to running a restore operation in SQL Server and overwriting the existing database. This will overwrite everything from security to schema and data. This is a good consideration if you're rolling out a new version and you want to make sure you can roll back if it's necessary. The scalpel option is using table clones. There is a Fabric 5 video which focuses directly on clones. One update from that video to the current day is that you can now create a clone within the last 30 days of data. One thing about clones is that they are zero copy clones. They do not make copies of the data. They just manage the clone in a Delta log. One nice thing about clones is that you can use it at the table level and you're able to keep clones as long as needed. One caveat to both clones and restore points is that they currently do not support restoring to another warehouse or workspace at this time. This is particularly important for dealing with the restore points. As you cannot restore side by side, it is an overwrite option only. So use it carefully. The lake house is built on Delta Lake as is the data warehouse. Because of this, there is a number of things related to Delta, such as support for time travel, which is a basis for all of these functionalities. Delta Table Maintenance in Fabric is designed to remove files that have not been used for seven days. This functionality also supports soft deletes in one lake. While you have to use an API to recover data, using soft deletes does protect your organization from accidental deletes during that period of time. I would highly recommend using a data warehouse and table clones to protect from accidental deletes or updates to tables for which you have a concern. As you can see, Fabric being built on Delta Lake protects data from unintentional data loss such as deletes and updates. However, the onus is on you to protect your data as well. Use the tools that Microsoft has provided to keep your data safe and available for your users. I have shared links below related to these topics, including what is available with Fabric. In the next Fabric 5, I will discuss how your home tenant location impacts your Fabric data recovery plans. Like or subscribe if you enjoyed the session. Until next time, thank you for checking in.